Let's go to, uh, let's start off here in uh, Platteville, Wisconsin. Marcus is on the line. Hi, Marcus. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hey, Leo. Long time listener to Twit and the show. Thank you. Uh, Twit is, I should explain, <laughs> my podcast network. He's not calling me a name, folks. It stands for This Week in Technology. <laughs> you twin. What can you know, I, I? Thank you. Though. I've been I've been listening to you since it was a uh, cottage, so yeah. it's been a long time. People thought I was um, doing it in my basement. But weren't I'm, you? <laughs> no, <laughs> I just looked that way. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for you that I'm thinking will might stump you. Uh, um, that wouldn't be hard, believe me. <laughs> Here on the 7th of June, I'm going to be getting what's called the cochlear Baja hearing aid. Interesting. It's, now, I know about cochlear hearing, implants. What is a Baja? It's a uh, bone-anchored hearing aid. Baja stands ah. for bone-anchored hearing aid. They actually drill a hole into my skull, okay. put, in it, put in a titanium implant that partway sticks out of my head, and then I get what's called a, they call it a processor yeah. that, cli that clips onto it. And it it's because my inner my outer ear and my middle ear have stopped working, right. but my my inner ear still works. It's very cool. Up oh, until yeah. now, hearing aids were basically amplifiers. If yep. if grandpa can't hear you, speak louder. Uh, well, the, one, the fun part about this, and the way my uh, otolaryngologist or ear, nose, and throat doctor told me, is it basically turns my skull into a speaker. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's bone conductance. Yep, yep. Now my question is, um, I do so, a lot. By the way, to somebody in our chat room, Tim, Tim Elliott says Baja also says, stands for what they what they do when they tell you how much it costs. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, really, really. <laughs> is, it, is it? It's expensive. Yes, it yeah. is. But now, um, can you hear? You can hear. Obviously, you're hearing me, so you can hear a little bit. I can hear in my left ear. Uh, my hearing is not too bad in my left ear. My right ear, I've lost 90% of my right. hearing. Right. But it's been, like, my right ear, I've already had roughly 30, hear uh, 30 surgeries on that ear, and there's just nothing they can do anymore. Yeah. Now, this, so, is, this is kind of midway between a cochlear implant, which kind of replaces the hearing with computer processing and goes directly to nerve endings. Um, this Correct. is taking your the bones in your skull and using them uh, to to get the vibrations uh, to the inner ear, and then if, then your auditory nerves, which are still functioning, can take over. Yep. The the with the cochlear implant, it's where your cochleus or your inner ear, um, it's actually stopped working. Right. It's quite a miraculous thing. People who have yep. never heard or uh, who've gone deaf at a young age, hearing for the first time in their memory and. Uh, you've you maybe seen the videos on YouTube if you have, and it's dramatic. Oh, they gave me a tester unit for about two hours, and uh, it, it just kind of pressed against your head really, really tight. Yeah. And I started crying because I oh. hadn't heard out of that ear in years. Oh, that's great. And then they sent me up to the waiting room with it on, and there were kids in there, and it was just too much. It was too loud. <laughs> well, that's the best part of a hearing aid. Can you dial it down? <laughs> Can you uh, of course. What? That's, you know, that's what I told the wife, you know. You know, when she starts getting after me, I can just turn it down. Turn it down. <laughs> so what's your question? That's a fascinating technology. Thanks for sharing that with us. Oh, yeah. Well, what, I, what I'm wondering is the unit that I'm going to be getting is called the Baja 5. It's the newest unit that they uh, have. It just came out uh, middle of April or so, and it is actually Bluetooth enabled. Wow. And wow. My, my question is, is I like to play games on uh, like Minecraft and that kind yeah. of stuff on my computer. Yeah. Well, with that, I would only get mono sound. Right. One what ear. I, what, yep. What I'm looking for is to get another Bluetooth, not hearing aid, but like a regular one that you would use for your phone. Yeah. Put it put it in my left ear and get stereo sound. Is there any way to do? Yeah, because it's well. See, here's the problem. Yeah, you could you could easily pair your new uh, Baja implant to the computer and hear in that ear via Bluetooth, mm -hmm. and you could easily uh, get a Bluetooth for your other ear and hear through Bluetooth. The problem is <laughs> getting them both. Uh, yep. to work because that's essentially what you're telling the computer is play the left channel 
in, on one Bluetooth device play the right channel on, on another Bluetooth device. And I'm not sure, I don't think that that is uh, enabled in any way. That's an interesting issue. Um, you can play right into the implant. Yes. Because it's Bluetooth. Yes. Um, but that's only one ear. Correct. That's. I've been looking this up since the middle of April when I got the surgery, and I just I can't find anything. I even went on the uh, Know How Google Plus site. Yeah, I love this question. Told you it might stump you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, certainly your computer can pair to multiple devices, but it never can play to two. It can only play to one at a time. Correct. So I think what you... What do you think, John? Go to a device that goes to two Bluetooth devices. He's saying go to a device that goes to two Bluetooth devices. I don't know what there is that would do that. I mean, when you pair it... You can pair eight phones sometimes to your computer or eight things to your computer, but only one is active at a time. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. I guess I what you know could, if they made anything. What would, be, what would be great, I wonder if you could do this, if you could play it through your speakers so you get the full left and right and through that Bluetooth implant. Then, nice. yeah, then you would hear the stereos in the room. But, you but I, would also, I would also keep the wife up at night. <laughs> uh, she can't turn her hearing aid down huh no. mm. i am putting this out to the chat room because i can't think of a way to do that but they're very creative they might come up with something you say you've already asked the know how google plus group that's another good, good creative crowd there and they're a bunch of uh, makers and creators and still no answer there either huh i think it's a limitation of how bluetooth works Leo Laporte, the tech guy, 8888, ask Leo. <clears throat> Leo is the uh, phone number. Yeah, I think we got an answer uh, for our uh, caller from uh, Wisconsin, Marcus. Uh, thanks to John, my studio engineer. Of course, Jammer B would know the answer to this. He's a studio engineer. He says, okay, easy. What you get, and we found them on Monopress for about 20 bucks there on Amazon for about $27. You're looking for a Bluetooth transmitter. Uh, and you'll need to buy two of those. Or you can, actually, you don't have to, but you could get one. Bluetooth transmitter, one headphones. But you're going to split the analog audio out of your computer. You're not going to use your computer to do the Bluetooth. That's what stymied me. You don't need to. So you uh, split the audio coming out of your computer, the stereo audio, left and right. One of them you could just put into headphones and put that on the good ear. The other you put to a Bluetooth transmitter. They're about 20 bucks, as I said, on uh, monoprice.com, $27 on Amazon. And that you'll pair to your new cochlear in, your cochlear uh, hearing aid implant, your Baja. And uh, now the sync might be an issue. In fact, it may be you, you want to end up doing two Bluetooth devices to make the sync better. I don't know. You'll have to play with it. But you could start with just uh, headphones. And, uh, and you'll... Now, somebody's saying you have phasing issues. I don't, I don't think you're going to have phasing issues exactly because uh, their headphones are not... But you will have sync issues. It might sound a little weird. But in the game, I don't know if that's going to make a difference. It's worth a try. Thanks for the call, Marcus, and thanks for telling us about that new technology. That's pretty interesting.